This is a video demonstration of the settings and configuration options within Pineapple Payments Gateway. Full of many out-of-the-box products and features, there are immense opportunities for personalization. I strongly recommend reviewing your settings before you begin to ensure that the gateway notifications, permissions, and overall setup is to your liking. To get started, you should have already logged into your Pineapple Payments Gateway account as the administrative user. Only administrators with managed settings permissions can access the functionality demonstrated in this video. Hover your mouse over Settings and start with the Merchant Configuration. There are several functions on this Merchant Configuration page, which control the global functionality of your account. If you make any changes to the settings below, you must click the Save button here at the bottom of the page. The first thing you should review is your Merchant Profile. Here you can edit your business information such as name, address, or phone number. You can also update your primary billing information. That's the account we draft your monthly gateway fees from. Next is virtual terminal or swipe terminal configurations. This allows you to personalize your virtual and swipe terminals to control what type of information you can enter with a payment. The settings that you establish here are your default configurations and each user can adjust their configurations separately. Returning to the Merchant Configuration page, you can upload your company logo. Click here to choose your logo file, and once saved, your logo will appear in a couple of different locations throughout the system, such as hosted payment pages, throughout Invoice Manager, and on printed receipts. Here's your transaction API key. The API key is unique to your Gateway account and is used in a couple of integrated components of our system like the QuickBooks integrated app. It is also used in API-based transaction processing as an extra level of verification. You can limit the allowable transaction types or card types that get used throughout the system. For example, not all merchant accounts are set up to process American Express. Therefore, if your merchant account is not enabled for Amex, you can uncheck the box here and will hide the American Express logo from all your gateway transaction entry points. If you're using Invoice Manager, you can adjust options for how you want to handle invoices and payments. I recommend watching our Invoice Manager demonstration video to see the detailed explanation of these configurations. Settlement configuration allows you to adjust your daily auto settlement time. Settlement is the process in which Pineapple Gateway batches out your daily transactions with your credit card processor. You can change the time settlement occurs. Auto settlement times reference your local time zone. There is a settle now button as well if you ever choose to manually settle. You also have AVS and CVV filters. AVS stands for Address Verification System. CVV stands for Card Verification Value. With every credit card transaction, the submitted address information and card security code go through a check with the card issuing bank to confirm if it matches or not. Depending on the response that comes back, whether that's a total match, partial match, or no match, you can decide which responses you want to accept or reject. By default, it's configured to accept all approved transactions, regardless of AVS or CVV response but you can choose to reject a specific response by unchecking the Accept box. Navigating back to Merchant Configuration, you can enable user management tools such as Group Permissions or Mid Permissions. These options become helpful in large location setups where you have many users or departments with uniform permissions and settings. Once you've enabled user management tools, you'll see the new option to Manage Group Permissions. Add a group and establish the set permissions that will apply to all members of that group. When you're ready to add a new user or enroll a user in a specific group, go to Manage Users. You'll see a list of the current users and a button to add a new user. You can personalize users individually by entering their user information and checking off the unique permissions for that specific user. Or you can drop the user into a specific group where the group permissions are automatically populated. On each individual user, you can also adjust the email notifications that user receives. That brings us to custom email notifications. 
The system can automatically send various notifications and receipts. Each receipt has default content, but you can completely customize the language and messaging to suit your needs. You can also change the reply to address, which will automatically receive responses to email receipts. You can also decide who gets a copy of that type of email receipt. If you check the customer box, an email receipt goes to the customer billing email address that was submitted with the transaction. If the merchant box is checked, an email receipt goes to any merchant users who also have that notification enabled in their user profile. Lastly, if you wish to include extra data on your email templates that isn't shown by default, you can click View Transaction Fields and copy and paste the new data you want to include. Complete these steps for each email template. We'll wrap up this demonstration with custom field settings. Custom fields are a great tool for collecting and storing additional information that's unique to your business, such as the ticket number custom field created on this account. This custom field is a text box, but you can create custom fields that are formatted as drop-down menus, radio buttons, or check boxes. You can create up to 10 custom fields, and once created, use them all throughout the system wherever you initiate payments. You can also use custom fields on your receipts or search for them in the transaction reports. There are many ways to personalize your Pineapple Gateway experience, so it's tailored for your business. And this completes our demonstration of settings. For further questions, please contact your sales representative for assistance.